killing. Stop killing. Stop killing. Stop killing. Innocent. Innocent. Civilians. 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 Stop killing. Stop killing. University. University. Student. Student. Stop killing. Stop killing. Our kids. Our kids. We are the voice. We are the voice for voiceless people. For voiceless people. For voiceless people. For voiceless people. Today. Today we gonna uh, carry out the uh, rally, which is uh, part of uh, international or global action for protesting the Ethiopian government of persecuting the Oromo people. The last rally you had was back in December. What's happened since then? Uh, the problem was exacerbated or intensified since then. Uh, at that time, uh, around uh, 100 people were killed, but now more than 400 people, including seven months pregnant women, leaving six children behind, and many uh, children and the seniors were killed. And what would you like to see happen as a result of this rally? Oh, uh, for the last many years, the Oromo have been trying to get the international people's attention to Oromo problem. And uh, we have been demonstrating uh, since these, uh, the last round of protests started in Ethiopia in October. Uh, we have been uh, rallying in different cities uh, and at different times to get the attention of international community and the Western governments and the UN so that they will help mitigating the problem or stopping Ethiopian government from killing innocent peaceful demonstrators and uh, that is the most the ultimate the goal of this rally is to get support, to get help stop this uh, genocide in making. And what would you like to see the Canadian government do in response to this? Yeah, we have repeatedly written letters to the government of Canada and demonstrated in front of different legislatures and provincial legislatures as well as uh, in Ottawa uh, to do something. We are taxpayers in Canada and we have uh, friends, neighbors and relatives that are persecuted every day and we are feeling that has direct impact on our social, economic and emotional impact and the government of Canada should do something and uh, that is what we need, like uh, to uh, use uh, by the way, the Canadian government is one of the donors to the Ethiopian government. The Ethiopian government collects donations in the name of hungry people, starved people, but ultimately use that donation for the purpose of empowering its military and militias. Those are killing uh, innocent people. So the government, we want to know the government of Canada uh, we want the Canadian government to know the sophisticated system of using this donation and stop helping the Ethiopian government so that uh, this will be uh, uh, stopped. Is there anything else you'd like to add? Uh, yes. Uh, uh, the first thing is we need the Canadian government to interfere. This thing, this is a kind of uh, genocide in the progress, genocide in the making. This genocide in the making, unless it is uh, uh, stopped on time, there will be so much more casualties and so much disaster and the catastrophe that will ultimately affect the entire uh, people uh, in question and uh, other uh, neighboring countries too. Thank you very much. Thank you. Government, stop, stop using, using tax dollars, tax dollars to support 
Support technical government. Technical government. Stop. Stop. Supporting. Supporting. The terrorist government. The terrorist government. The killer government. The killer government. The killer government. The killer government. We denounce. We denounce killing. Killing. And murdering. And murdering. Civilians. Civilians. Ethiopia. Ethiopia.